In evolutionary biology, we end up comparing anatomy a lot. Homology and homoplasy are two important words when we want to compare different anatomy between different animals. Another classic line of evidence when we're talking about evolution is comparing similar features across different organisms. And homology and homoplasy are two important concepts to talk about. Let's talk about homology first. Homo means same in this context. Um, so now we're talking about similar traits, but they are similar specifically due to shared ancestry. This is important. So homology, we generally t talk about bones that can be similar. So in our forearm, we have our radius and ulna and our humerus. Then we have our uh, carpals in our wrist, metacarpals in our, the palm of our hand, and then phalanges in our fingers. But we'll find the same exact bones in humans, in our uh, lion, in our seal, and in our bird here. They're in vastly different forms because we all locomote differently, but we still have the same bones because we inherited from the, them from the same ancestor. Here we can look at a slightly different example. Now we're looking at our scapula or shoulder blade. So you can see we all have a shoulder blade in the mouse, chicken, and turtle, but it's in a different position and it looks really different. Like, look at that turtle. It's both this like really tiny thing, but it's at a completely different angle. These are all evidences of homology. We have the same thing because we inherited it from the same ancestor. In contrast, homoplasy is a little bit different. Homo still means same, but plasy gives it a new meaning. So now we do have similar traits, but it's the appearance of similar traits due to a common function, not ancestry. So this is how we define these terms. Is it similar due to common ancestry? We got it from the same ancestor, or does it have the same function? And this is a great way to let us learn more about evolution. So let's look at some examples. One thing to remember is there's actually a couple different words that mean the exact same thing. So we have homo homoplasy of our language. Analogy and convergent evolution also mean homoplasy. So you might hear people use those terms rather than homoplasy. Um, this just means that the same trait or a similar trait has evolved independently multiple times probably because the environment was the same or very similar. Let's look at an example. So here, um, mammals and birds are united in the fact that we are homeotherms, or we generate our own body heat. You might more commonly hear this called warm-blooded. But you'll notice our common ancestor is actually pretty far, and a bunch of these groups in the middle, they do not share this trait. So probably what happened is we evolved it in independently. We um, homoplasy is responsible for the fact that we are both homeotherms and not homology. We can also look at flight. Bats fly and birds fly, but again, they do not have a recent common ancestor. So they probably evolved flight independently. That would make the most sense rather than like all of these other mammals losing the ability to fly. It can get a little bit complicated because depending on what you're talking about, it might be homoplasy, but it might be homology. So remember, those forearm bones, those are homologous between these three animals on the bottom. Here we have a pterosaur, a bird, and a bat. But the flight, all of their wings, that is analogous or homoplastic. So remember, always be careful about what you're talking about and whether you should be using homology or homoplasy. So what are the differences between homology and homoplasy? Can you explain an example? 